Now here's one thing I want to challenge you on. One of our Thrive mentors grew a $2 billion insurance company by, uh, called HRH Insurance. His name's Bill Shofty. Through the process of acquisition. So he would go to a business of an insurance company and then buy them, basically. And buy them and buy them and buy them. And what they found was every one of them would say, we offer great customer service and we're very professional. Almost all of them. To, almost every one of them. And you'll find that in almost every business that's a value. So I'm going to give you another example of a value just so you can kind of see the difference. Let's say that we were to look at the values of Chick-fil-A. Now Chick-fil-A is very different from other companies. Let's just look at some of their values. Well, one is that they're closed on Sundays. Two is everyone is forced to say, my pleasure, right? So there's no option there. I mean, my pleasure. They only serve chicken. They are family friendly. Now, what we're going to do is any time that we're working through these systems and you get stuck, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you this, this system that you'll, that way you'll never get stuck, okay? Anytime you're trying to make your values and you're like, oh gosh, I don't know what to do. What you're going to do is we want to do this thing. I'll put this in green as an action item. You want to remember this little phrase, okay? It's goat plus boom equals pod. It's not weird math. Okay, so here we go. So the GOAT stands for the greatest of all time. GOAT stands for greatest of all time. The BOOM stands for big, overwhelming, optimistic momentum. And the P equals possibilities, options, and dreams. And all, I know you guys are taking notes, so I'm not going to rush you, but GOAT, again, G is the greatest of all time. BOOM equals big, overwhelming, optimistic momentum. POD equals possibilities, options, and dreams. So here's an example. If you want to make an unbelievable value statement today, what are we going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to study a goat. So we happen to know some people who know some people who might or might not know somebody who works for Chick-fil-A. We're going to call this person, and if they say no, we'll call somebody who works at Starbucks, a company that you like. We're going to say, can I get a copy of your value statement? You might have to do a little sleuthing, a little bit of uh, uh, paramilitary. You're a former Marine, though, so I'm sure you can figure it out, but some sort of military operation. But you'll get it. And when you look at the value statement that Chick-fil-A and Starbucks has, you'll realize, okay, this is how it should look. And you're going to just not copy it, but we're going to um, do synthetic uh, creativity where we take it and we try to improve upon it a little bit. But Chick-fil-A's really harps on Sundays were closed. We're a family-friendly business. Think about how weird that is in today's culture. So they say every Sunday, how much more money could they make? I don't know, 20% more a week, 15% more a week. People studies show that weekends are the busiest weekends for families to go out to eat. They could probably make a 20% profit if they were closed on, if they're open on Sundays. But they say no. They also say, you have to say my pleasure. They also say, we're only going to serve chicken. They also say, so you want to really, really define that right away. Now, Thrive, um, we have our own values, so I'll just give you a couple of them. Is one is all of our staff has to over deliver. What does that mean? Well, if we promise you something, we want to do something more. And if we ever make a mistake or, you know, because everyone makes mistakes, we want to try to go the extra mile to do, treat you the way we want to be treated. So you will only get ire from me if you're working for me if you mess up and you don't try to make it right by over-delivering. We're not perfect, but over-delivering is a big thing. The other thing is our companies are very into humorous enthusiasm. And that doesn't mean that, you know, people are wrong or weird or bad if they aren't humorous and, and enthusiastic, but they just can't work here. You know what I'm saying? So, but you want to have your business, you want to define that so you know exactly who you're trying to hire. You know what I'm saying? So you might have a company where you say, no visible tattoos. You might have one where you say, we don't care. I mean, you can have whatever you want to have, but these values are super important.